In this tutorial, I'll show you how to embed multiple soft subtitles to a video using Handbrake. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, soft subtitles mean that the subtitles can be turned on or off. They're not permanently banned into the video. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because some few things have changed in Handbrake uh, since I did uh, the video to embed multiple subtitles to a video. Now, uh, let's just open up Handbrake. Uh, there we go. And the version I'm using is Handbrake 1.6.1. So let's go back. Now for this, I already have the video with three subtitle files. One is in English, another one is in French, and another one in Portuguese. So that's out of the way. You need Handbrake.fr. That's where you can get it. And I'll leave links to get Handbrake uh, in the description below. And also the video and the subtitles you want to embed the soft subtitles to. Now, one thing you need to note is that these subtitles, once you embed them to the video, you cannot upload that particular video to YouTube and the subtitle metadata uh, is going to be available. No, it's not going to be available. It's for somebody, uh, maybe you want to share a video with somebody who wants to watch it on their computer. That's where this is actually available. Now, I've got Handbrake open and I'm just going to drag and drop this particular video. Just drop it there. Uh, the interface looks much, much better than uh, from what I did a couple of years ago. Uh, what you need to do here is just go through uh, the drill. You already know that your video is like, uh, for this one is a 19, 20 by 1080. Uh, it's kind of giving me this, but you can look at the dimensions here. Uh, this is what you get. Uh, this kind of like storage size, whatnot, but I'll not touch anything there. So I'll go to filters, videos. And then for for this particular option, I'll just leave it at around, it should be 22, if I'm not mistaken, yes, quality is 22. If you bring this uh, down this side, the quality is going to be lower. If you take it to the other side, it's going to be the best quality, uh, but probably a very big video size. Uh, this is kind of uh, the sweet spot for this. Uh, if you're targeting uh, some average bit rates, then this is something that you can work with. Uh, in previous years, I've had to work uh, with clients who want specific bit rates, and uh, this is good. You can do uh, like the two pass encoding, and this actually makes sure that everything is aligned as it should be. And then the audio, you can choose whatever bit rate you're working with. Uh, I'll just leave it as it is. Now, as for the subtitles, this is where I kind of have an issue uh, with uh, the folks at Handbrake, because previously we had the option to import subtitle clearly visible. Right now, you actually get to this section and don't know where that is. So uh, to import a subtitle, all you need to do is just click on Tracks and then click on Import Subtitle. Click on that. And from here, I'm going to go to my subtitles. I've mentioned I have three. The first one, I believe, is the English one. Yes, .en. I'll click on it. I'll click on Open. And another issue I always have with Handbrake is that even if you hover over this, you cannot see what subtitle this is. So it would be awesome if they actually moved everything to the other side so that we can easily see what subtitle we are dealing with, uh, if that is something that is of importance. Now, you have English, you also have the encoding, you can do an offset, you can select this to burn in the subtitle, but we're not going to do that. And you can also name your subtitle right here. Now, we're going to add the others, import subtitle, I'm going to go with the second one, which is Fr the French uh, subtitle. Click on open. And now from here, I'll need to click on English, the drop down, and look for French. And this is Francais. Click on that and leave everything else as it is. And then I'm going to click on track again, import subtitle. And then I'm going to go with this one. I'll click on that and click on open. That's the Portuguese one. And then come to the drop down here. Uh, I press on P on my computer and then scroll down as I look for Portuguese. It's right here. Uh, everything is good as it is. Now, the one thing I'll do is just uncheck this burning option here. I don't think it has any issue whatsoever, but for my own uh, peace of mind, let me just uncheck it. And once I'm done with that, I can just select browse to save uh, the file anywhere else that I want to save, but I want it to go to my videos folder. So all I need now to do is just click on start encode. I'll click on that. And now the final downside with using Handbrake to kind of embed soft subtitles to your videos is that it has to re-encode 
that particular video all over again. Now, one thing you'll notice is that it's doing encoding pass one of two is because uh, in the video section, I was targeting an average bitrate. Unfortunately, I did not input any average bitrate here. So I'm not sure what bitrate is actually going to uh, kind of give me for this particular one. But it's up to us to wait and see how this is actually going to look like once it's done. Uh, I should have actually just gone with a constant quality. But let's see what we're actually going to get uh, we, as the results once this is done. Because uh, depending on the video size, it should not take long because this is just a 2 minute 48 second video. Uh, but let us wait and see uh, what we get from this particular uh, a solution to embed soft, soft, soft subtitles to a video. But the good thing with using Handbrake is that you can target a particular quality. Now, there are other options out there to kind of embed soft subtitles that you just do it in a second. Uh, there's Subtitle Edit, there's MKV Toolnix, there's Lossless Cut. Uh, there are all those uh, different options and they're all free and available uh, on most occasions across multiple platforms, Mac, Windows, and Linux. Now, we're almost done. Uh, let's wait and see. Zero job spending. Q finished. So let's go to the videos folder. And this is our video. I'll just double click on it In and pause it. Let me just maximize it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go to subtitle and subtitle tracks. And you can now see we have track one, English, track two, French, track three, Portuguese. If I click on track one and play. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to. Let's go right click again inside the video player. Subtitle track, click on French. Add text behind a pass on. So that's okay. We go to subtitle track three Portuguese. Or moving object in Camtasia 2023. Now I don't know Portuguese or French, so I'm assuming uh, that's what it looks like that those two are automatically translated subtitles. But that is how you can embed soft subtitles that sees multiple soft subtitles to a video using Handbrake. Now, the downside, as I've mentioned, is that re-encoding has to happen all the time. Uh, it's not like using MKV Toolnix or Subtitle Edit or, or Lossless Cut. Uh, encoding has to happen. Number two, if you've never used Handbrake before, you may wonder where is the import subtitle option uh, and also uh, the different options. And something else I've noticed, even if you click on default to kind of have this as the default, it never is the default. That is. When you're playing like a video, like uh, having the subtitle uh, be the default here, it's always disabled. So those are some of the few downsides I find with using Handbrake. But if that is something that you're looking for and targeting a particular quality from the video you create, then that is something I'd recommend you try and use. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.